All right, so you guys talked about this quite a bit on the podcast. I just found out. I haven't listened to this week's podcast yet, but um, Ford Bronco leaks are quite the thing right now, and um, I'm pretty excited about the Ford Bronco uh, and the baby Bronco, the Bronco Sport. I am pretty excited about these leaked images, and I wanted to get uh, your opinion. If we go to, let's start off with the, uh, the Ford Bronco sport, uh, mm -hmm. leaks that we saw. That's the blue vehicle. Um, I just want to hear your overall opinion on, and what you think about the styling and, and how it, how it fits into, uh, into the automotive world that we're living in right now. Yeah. So my first impression with the Bronco sport was I thought it looked a lot like the uh, original escape actually. I think it okay. had that, that cool blocky styling. And, uh, you know, it's, it's very different than the current day escape, which is, you know, a lot more like a car. It's, uh, you know, a, lo a lot of curves, no sharp edges anywhere. Uh, you know, it, it's a bit more like a, a focus or, I mean, just a, a normal car as opposed to this Bronco Sport, which is, I mean, I, I've heard a lot of comparisons with the Land Rover Defender. Yeah. Um, it, it looks more upmarket. Uh, it, it looks like, you know, it's probably going to be more expensive than an Escape, w would be my guess. But, uh, I mean, overall, like, I, I do really like the design. Um, what do you think about it, John? Well, when you mentioned the Escape to me the other day, that's when it clicked. Um, I was like, I, I, I wasn't quite sure what to think of this. Um, but, yeah, when you mentioned that it looked like the Escape, I was like, yeah, the old Escape, the one, like, guy I'm always talking about how I miss it. Um, I like the direction the new Escape has taken. But uh, I, I definitely miss that original escape, and this this has that that same sort of uh, look to it, that same sort of macho, uh, burly sort of blocky styling. Um, I really like the uh, the sort of two tone, like the blue that we're seeing, um, and then you know from from the bottom of the windows up, you know the pillars and the roof are all black. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I was not sure I was going to be sold on this, um, and even after looking at the the photos for a little bit, the, I'm not I'm still not sold on the on the badging on the back, and I'm still not sold on the sport name. Um, just stop calling thing the smaller versions of things sport. Um, Rogue sport. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought of. Just, <laughs> but um, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, and if you look at the back, look, look at where that Ford emblem is the <laughs> ford emblem is atrocious like it's so so bad i it, it feels like um first gen uh flex to me when they were like oh we need to put a ford badge on here somewhere and they just slapped one on it feels well, like it kind of reminds me of like the placement of of the land rover badges uh, mm. that's what it looks like to me uh, yeah which is a little derivative they don't need to be that derivative but um I think if you don't compare it to the Land Rover, I think on its own it's pretty good. Uh, okay. I will withhold judgment, uh, final judgment, until I you know see it in person and drive it. But these are really promising photos. Yeah, I definitely agree with both of you that it reminds me of the Escape. I actually uh, my second and third cars were that old Escape. Yeah. So I, I have an uh, an affinity for that like. Mini explorer, the, like the experience for you. What's that? It didn't ruin the experience for you. <laughs> no, I was, uh, I was like 17 and had horrible car opinions. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think, I think, yeah, to me, it looks like if, if that first or maybe second gen escape had a kid with the Ford Flex and that kid just really loved off roading. That's what this looks like to me. I think the two tone part of it is definitely bringing in the Flex for me, but. Um, yeah. I like it a lot. Uh, the thing that I don't like about it, um, the badging, uh, I don't like that Ford emblem. Even if it was like blacked out, I think I'd like it better. And then the white uh, Bronco in the grill and on the back. I mean, if there was ever a time where I would spray paint something, that would be it. Yeah, definitely like matte black those badges, and you I'm sure want, that's going to be an black. option. But you want like matte black? I I, I can see like a glossy because the gloss works too. Because then it would match the the roof. In in the in the front, it would just disappear if it was matte. Um, yeah. 
I don't know they're they're really pushing that that Bronco brand. Yeah. It sounds like I mean yeah. Ford is secondary. That's why it's like lower and on the right side of the rear. I don't even see a Ford logo on on the front of this yeah. thing. <laughs> right. On the hood, which right. would be bizarre. But yeah, no, it, it actually you know that that throwing it off to the side thing. Uh, the the teaser of the Hummer truck EV. They have Hummer way across the grill, huge, and then the tiny little GMC logo yeah, off right. to the side. Yeah. And it's yeah, it really seems like you know it, both GM and now Ford is doing the same thing w- with the Bronco. They're they're pushing yeah. the actual model name as the as the selling point instead of the the brand itself. And let's move on to the actual Bronco, not the Bronco Sport. Uh, we have a couple of leaks. Um, the first leak was a white uh, white Bronco with what looked like a cloth hood. I don't know if you guys have that link handy uh, to take a look at that. But what do you think? about a how excited are you to drive a bronco without a roof on it and b what do you think of the cloth uh roof not hood i think i said hood earlier cloth (laughs) roof is what i meant (laughs) um i think it's got to offer it of course uh you can you can definitely tell that the the rear window looks like you know that plastic job it it looks super wrinkly Uh, yeah you know, honestly, I don't know. I, I would just try and keep the top off, top off as much as possible. <laughs> um, but I think it, it looks it looks badass. That approach and departure angle looks pretty severe. Um, looks like it could really crawl over some stuff. I like the illuminated. Uh, it looks like the the whole line across the front with the lettering is all illuminated on the grill uh, if so that's pretty cool i like that a uh, little little flashy for probably for some people's taste but uh i can get down with it yeah i mean the the, the first leak that, that we got uh i think it was yesterday yeah or two days ago um we uh oh, we got the four door but then we also got the two door and that that styling book and i think that 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 is the one that i'm super excited about uh, I think that this one, you know, brings back the full nostalgia experience of, of the 1960s Broncos with the shape of it, you know, the, the, that, you know, shortish hood with, uh, you know, a really, really abbreviated rear end. Uh, and it, it looks like it might have some sort of removable hard top on it as, as I'm looking at the line going all the way up into the roof, mm-hmm. if so. That's another awesome thing. You know, hopefully it's 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 a light roof that you can throw back there. But no, this looks like a really really great alternative to the Wrangler. Which I mean, at, at this point, I'm really surprised that nobody has has actually come up with any true competitor to the Wrangler. But hey, here we go. Two doors, uh, maybe manual transmission. I know that we've we've seen rumors about that. I I think that'd be awesome. I don't know what the take rate would be on it. But uh, no, like the the two door and you know this sort of Rubicon esque styling. You see the big knobby tires, big ride height. Uh, I'm super super intrigued by the two door, and at the same time, I I think the four door looks pretty great too. So I don't know. Do you have any uh, big opinions, Chris? Uh, I mean, not anything too crazy. Uh, I like the two door. I mean, if I was going to buy a Wrangler, I would buy the two door, even though it's not as practical. And so same thing here. The Bronco two door is just, oh my gosh, it's, I haven't been this excited about a vehicle in a while. I feel like, um, and I think some of that has to do with now I live in an area where I can go off roading like pretty easily compared to, uh, maybe you guys, but like the two door is just, uh, I cannot like I'm picturing myself driving around Moab in that thing, and I cannot wait for that moment to happen. Um, though at the same time, the four door, you know, I'm I'm as I'm uh, entering my 30s, I'm like, well, the four door is pretty practical, and that's all of a sudden something I need to start thinking about. Um, so, like, I would say 80% of me is like, yes, on the two door uh, over the four door, but I think. Oh man. Yeah. It it looks so good. And being able to just, yeah, have another vehicle that you could take the roof off of is super nice. Um, driving around in the gladiator with the roof off is 
incredible. And so I would be really excited to do it here. Uh, the final leaked photos, I think we posted about today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just like an hour, less than an hour ago. Uh, these ones are super clear. Um, this black four door with the hard top. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think about that one? From the rear, it really does look like a Wrangler, doesn't it? It does so yeah. much so. <laughs> That's so the much so. I like the I like the uh, cloth top better personally. Um, I know like it's it's probably noisier and whatnot, um, but like I said, I'd be the person who would have the top off as much as possible. Um, if I were gonna get Wrangler, I would just get the soft top um, as well. Uh, yeah, I mean. It looks good though. Uh, this one uh, makes me feel a lot better that the the other one was real. I know I I was somewhat skeptical, you know, because the photo was so blurry. Yeah, uh, there were some spots here and there that looked faked. That I don't know. Maybe this is Photoshop. Maybe it's not Photoshop. Can't really tell. But no, like these these photos, like these are look one hundred percent genuine. You know. And uh, the the resolution is much higher, so you actually get a better idea of, of the design itself. Um, and you know, I I think that this is it, it, this isn't like the the, the full on off road spec that we saw of of the one yesterday. You know, with the the giant tires on it, this one has a you know a much smaller <laughs> tire spec. <laughs> and uh, you know, maybe I, I compare it to like a uh, you know like a, a sport or a Sahara you know, sort of Wrangler uh, w- w- with a hard top too, you know, a, a little quieter, maybe more luxurious inside. Uh, you know, I, I think that Ford really has an opportunity here to, you know, like out feature and out luxury the Wrangler. And uh, this, this might be one of those models. We, we can't see inside. We haven't seen inside yet. Uh, that's, that's, the, that's yeah. the one big question. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a leak coming later today or tomorrow that has the interior. They seem that just yeah. like you said, they're, they're, they're getting closer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we just keep getting closer and closer. And it's like, I don't know, maybe one of like a, in a few hours, we'll see something show up. Oh, here's a manual transmission. Right. Here. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. Is. So, yeah. Yeah. The leaks just keep on coming and coming and hopefully they continue to, especially since uh, the New York auto show has been postponed till like September. So uh, we were hoping to see a lot of this in person in a couple of weeks and that's not happening. Um, but uh, we also had, some of the so the the vehicles that we've looked at so far we got the blue one which is the most colorful of the bunch and then like white and black so i was uh i was very interested to see what the paint colors would be and there have been some leaks whether or not we know that these are going to be the paint colors or not we'll just speculate but um fullsizebronco.com has a bunch of uh paint swatches and then uh basically they have like renderings with the colors and one thing that i was a little concerned with is that there would just be uh as as i've heard referred to before uh the german uh color scheme which is just like blue red and then a bunch of gray tones um and with the you know with the wrangler you can rock teal and purple uh and with a bronco i think you should be able to rock teal and purple if you want to um so we got some colors and some of them are quite uh, bright, especially the. There's like one that's like green screen green, which I'm yeah, totally I, digging. Viper green, I think is what it's called. What do you guys think of all these colors that we're seeing? I, I think those last few that you you're seeing there are ones that they are <laughs> they're they're hopeful about. Right. Um, but um, you know, I want to see it. That, that orange is kind of close. I want to see tan. I want to see like a camel colored uh bronco like my friend used to drive in high school yeah uh, i want a white one like oj drove or, or <laughs> ac drove um you know i, I want yeah. i want some of the the older colors i want i want some throwback stuff um you know the, the bright colors are cool too i i, I you know i'm i've never been a fan of the bright green wranglers um, and I wouldn't be of a bright green Bronco really either. Um, but like that light blue that we saw um, sort of on the baby Bronco is pretty cool. Um, I would love, you know, an olive green, an army green sort of thing. Um, 
And then, yeah, just give me like brown and white and beige and of course black I, yeah look awesome black <laughs> yeah. yeah i i think that you know some of the the names for the colors that you know were leaked something you know well, one's called area 51 i think that's a pretty sweet name for a color uh <laughs> it, it looks like a like a grayish greenish uh i mean i'm sure it's going to be you know a bunch of different shades when it shows up in light and dark and that's that's one I'm excited about. Uh, I saw a cyber orange pearl as well. Yeah, I'm yep. always excited about orange cars, uh, and I'm happy that the Bronco is going to be available in orange now too. We got fighter jet gray, antimatter blue metallic. Uh, so yeah, like all all interesting names. But you know, I I totally agree with John. I think we need like a sand, mm -hmm. like uh, like all the Toyota TRD Pros in yep. that super sandy color. Uh, it makes me so hungry right I now. I know. I, I, I'm just like, <laughs> I keep saying sand, and John's getting hungry over here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I hope that, that we get uh, some interesting, funky colors from this car because I, I think that with a, an off-roader, you can, you can kind of go crazy. You don't need to be as subdued as, as an escape or you know, an F-150 with it. Yeah, you want to be able to see your friend through the woods when he's you know rolling yeah, down a hill. Exactly. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. If honestly, if they took, um, like the spectrum of colors that Toyota offered the FJ Cruiser in like five to ten years ago, and just offered those, I would be so happy. I feel like that that entire color, uh, in all of the colors of the FJ Cruiser are like perfect for off roading, and I I love them very much. <laughs> so I'm I'm excited to see all these uh colors definitely i'm hoping that the orange is a little more orange than what we got on the ranger when we when i drove a ranger in new zealand the orange that we got was like yeah it was orange and then when we got it here it was like kind of orange yeah. so um yeah. yeah i would i would like to see like a really orange bronco uh that would be the one that i would pick at least um and i think it would be really awesome even though they will never do this if they named that color orange OJ, but well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> would they need OJ's approval for that? I don't know. Orange juice, man. I think they'd be fine. All right. Well, thanks for talking about the uh, new Bronco. Hopefully, get some leaks coming out soon, and uh, yeah, man, we'll I, update I everybody. I want. I want to know the, the cost. I want to know the cost. I want to see the interior. I want to know the cost, and I want to know, like the packaging. Um, yeah. I want to see how this is actually going to fight against the Wrangler. Um, if they can, you know, offer it, you know, for some dollars less than the Wrangler, maybe a stripped out version. I would love to see a very basic version with none of the bells and whistles except for the, you know, off-road stuff. Um, just for like the hardcore off-roader. And if you can price that, you know, less than, uh, you know, a Rubicon, considerably less than a Rubicon, um, I think that's going to be pretty competitive. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing, yeah, the, the pricing, the packaging, and of course the interior. Um, and we'll learn those things eventually. Uh, yeah. And then I think like safety and, and uh, you know, crash, we'll, we'll figure that out further down the line. But um, And then there's all the extras that you could buy to put on it. That's yeah. what I'm excited to see cool, all that man. stuff. Yeah, it's, it's going to yeah. be miles long. The special editions. There's going to be uh, yeah, probably some special editions. Yeah. That has yeah. to be maybe the OJ edition, all 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 white Bronco. We're all in on OJ. We are completely <laughs> all in on OJ Bronco. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure Ford is trying to forget that moment in their history, but it'll never it'll never happen. The '90s live on. <laughs>